poor little Natasha has a cold. She just sneezed. Anyway, as you can see, it's a rainy, wet day, and it's cold season for humans and kitty cats alike. You know, I thought I'd close this lot down. I'm so arrogant. I thought that I, and along with my other neighbors, and our constant complaining to City Hall about this lot, we thought, I thought that, hey, they finally listened, and it's close, but it's not, and the next time I see that owner, I'm going to rip his ass a new one. And I'm going to do it all on film. So, I mean, the motherfucker doesn't realize that he doesn't want to admit they made a bad investment and he's going to have to ride it off, sell the lot off to someone else, or just build a back what it was, a two-story or a one-story um, little strip mall. That was so quaint. I was talking to a neighbor get my coffee here. I was talking to a neighbor and she was going on about how the building that used to be here was built in the 20s and how beautiful it was and blah blah blah. Well personally I didn't think it was that beautiful but I never stopped to take a close look until they started tearing it down. She said there was all this beautiful molding and stuff and um Every time a building that is molding is torn down, those are people who are living under rent control and getting their asses kicked. They don't use molding anymore. Pretty, de pretty decorative designs on their buildings. I didn't realize that the property across the street, which has been a source right over there of a lot of anguish because of the tenants, but on the same time, a lot of kids live there, families. I heard that property's been sold to developers. <laughs> Can you believe that? My entire street on one side has been gobbled up by developers. And on the other side, a big lot got snatched up by these scum sucking developers. So I was bad today. I, I, in my first take, when I um, opened up, I graciously opened up the window for Maxwell. And then I was showing that Natasha has a cold because she had a sneezing fit. And then I just decided, you know, I was opening up that other window and doing all this fucking shit. Or not, because now Maxwell's decided he's too much of a pussy to even sit in the window. Um, I should probably close it because, you know, Natasha's sick. Even though she does have a coat of fur, she is sick and her fur will get cold. I'm sorry, Natasha. And Max was I hope he didn't jump out the window because he ain't in here anymore. <laughs> look at this place. Just look at it. Where'd that fucking mattress come from? But fucking window screen. These people live like animals. 
Did that guy just leave? I thought he just left. Did he go get booze for everybody? Now he's gonna back up beside this truck here. And they're gonna have a grand old time. I did some, uh, I think there's about, I think he bought him some drugs. Sometimes I feel like I'm a vice cop on patrol. Oh well. Only the construction workers who are in the know know to park here now. Bullshit. Over and out.